That's not the shot. Small step, small step, drastic direction change. Hey, since we're working on option number two, I don't want you guys driving to your feet. <clears throat> I want to see your position. I want to see your position right here on the mat right here. I'm going to hold that position a little bit. Elbow deep, head up, trail leg behind. My knees in the front of his toe. That's the position I want to see. One more thing. I saw something, I was just walking around watching you guys drill. I developed a terrible habit in elementary school, carried over to junior high, carried over to high school. It's all my setup. To beat the studs, you have to have three things to beat the studs. Number one, you have to have a good setup. If I have a good setup, it creates the best shot. Have a good setup, creates the best shot. In turn, it's going to create the easiest finish. Everyone's always worried about the finish. I say, screw the finish. If my setup sucks, my shot's going to suck. I'm never going to get to the finish. And I developed this bad habit, and I'm telling you guys, 30% of you guys in here are going to do what I'm going to show you that I, that I did. Terrible habit. Dave Schultz, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Dave Schultz. He broke this habit of me. All right, first time I ever wrestled Dave Schultz was 1988, a long time ago, Wisconsin wrestling room. First 15 seconds, I hit a head inside single on Schultz. And he stopped, he goes, Jordan, I just met the guy the day before. Came in as an assistant coach. I was a junior in college, and I hit a head inside single. He goes, what the freak? He might have said something else. Was that set up? I had no idea. I go, I just uh, hit my head inside. Here's what I did is Dave Schultz in 1988. Watch my left hand. I did this right here. So you guys see what I did with my left hand? I threw on the mat, post on the mat, and I jumped. That setup, honestly, sucks. All right? Better my setup, the better my shot, easier pin. I'm going to give a little pull with my inside tie on. Watch my left hand. Why it makes the setup better? Watch my left hand. Here. I don't put on the mat here. I promise you that setup is better than putting on the mat and jump. And 30% of you, you're going to have to tell you not to do it. Are going to do it. Why? Because you developed a bad habit. So I just want to see you hit the shot, hold this position for a second or two, and then he gets it. Sound good? Then we'll get to the finish. Let's go. 